Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Omega in Singapore. So last episode we started the annexation of Indonesia, Philippines and we are nearly done with the integration of Brunei. It's gonna happen in 119 days. We are also continuing with the suppression of our subjects which is helping us pretty nicely with other Ha, huh, that's nice. Malaysia is gonna become a puppet soon. Uh, Indonesia is gonna become a satellite soon. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, what I'm trying to say with all of this is that since we are integrating everyone and we still can't integrate Malaysia for some reason, uh, we're gonna blast our political power on um, lowering the autonomy of our puppets and we're actually gonna start um, uh, start on the way to puppet Palau because I kind of like their strategic position and while they might not become part of the map for window I would really like to get them as a puppet so we are not auto influencing anyone what we're doing is we were improving relations with the Democratic Republic of Korea which okay we can propose them a trading event we just need 50 political power for that, so we're gonna do that next. We do have a agreement with Korea proper. I wonder if they will reintegrate, because it looks like they are on their way towards reintegration. So it would be kind of cool to see that. Advanced integrated missile radar control is coming soon. Okay, Palau has been influenced, which is great. Uh, let me see how much progress we're making with one of these. Oh wow, we're not even on the list. Okay, well, it's gonna take a while. So it's proposed trade agreement to the Democrat Republic of Korea. Uh, we're also gonna have to blast some of our political power on the increasing of the taxes. I always forget about that, but that is something that we totally need to do. And we can lower the autonomy of someone. Malaysia. Yeah. I'm gonna become a puppet, giving us even more of everything. Which I don't mind because Malaysia is the one that we're not integrating, so it's definitely not wasted resources. Okay, so we're building uh, anti air defense in Atsek, and I don't think we have anything we can build there. We could build in Indonesia. We could build in Malaysia. No fact is we could build a nuclear reactor in our home, which actually reminds me we need probably need more fuel for the reactor. And at this point it's actually reactors plural. And we actually have trade deal with Russia as well, so let's get it from them too. And you guys are still drilling. Yeah, we got two of you getting experience with training, one more. Yep. Our army definitely needs more people. Because while we have um, more and more equipment, it is worth saying that we're also growing in size. Brunei is going to come next, so that's going to be something that will require some defending. Okay, so Malaysia is now a puppet. Next is autonomous region. I wonder if we could actually puppet them and subjugate them this way, and just forcing them into complete submission. They're gonna give us 80%. So, okay, so we get most of their production at this point. Hmm. Okay, I think we might have enough for an upgrade to the H Sin Sin if we add one to. Yep, we can do this one. So let me do it just. Oh, okay. So I need to rename manual H Sin Sin X1 H2. It's gonna get upgraded in all ways. You're gonna be obsolete. And we'll upgrade you. And I'm not sure. Okay, we can upgrade from stockpile. Just actually. Okay, let's not, let's just produce new stuff. 
And considering we have... Well, I mean, we were thinking of starting a new generation of the IFVs, but I just spent the army experience, so... Let's put it on ATGM and helicopters for now. We waited about some of our political power and army experience to modernizing our IFVs and APCs. I'm sure not working. Oh, okay, we're not working on anything that could deal with that at this point. So uh, there actually isn't any point in doing that later. So let me just see. You know what? Let's uh, let's do it. So we have an IFV here, the Bionics, which is the second generation IFV. We have we never really researched a third generation. I I might have completely skipped that <laughs> because we kept upgrading everything else. Okay, so a fourth generation IFV hull. Let me see what second gen had. So you had a late Cold War, auto cannon, some basic turret, coaxial machine gun, smoke launchers, ATGM. Now yeah, all of these could be upgraded, and you had battle stations. Wheel suspension and early Cold War composite armor. Okay, so fourth generation IFV. So advanced steel armor, and the other one is is not better anymore. Okay, it just increases hardness, but this one is definitely better. Uh, we can give you an explosive reaction armor. Advanced battle stations, and I forgot what we were using diesel engines, right? I think it was diesel engines. Yeah, I prefer diesel myself, so that's why I almost always go with the diesel engine. Okay, explosive reaction armor. Here we're gonna have the Spaced armor. Here we're gonna get the modern ATGM. Uh, kill heart system. Improved smoke launchers. We had the modern coaxial machine gun. And we were using the unnamed AFV turret. Has less defense, less breakthrough, but more armor. Okay, let's do that one. And let me see if we can do anything else apart from the smoke launchers. Nothing here. Explosive reaction armor, we already have that. External ATGM. Yeah, okay, so it's just this one. Or we could switch it for Top mounted machine gun, which lowers breakthrough, lowers defense, but gives you air attack. And that is a bad trade. So the Bionics, which is the one that we're using right now, defense 22.1, we would have 27.6. Uh, breakthrough 15.7, we would have 19.3. Hardness is 40 compared to 60. Swift attack 14.5, we have 15.5. Hard attack 11. Compared to 7.7 .7 we had, piercing would be 29 compared to 21. Armor 49.3 compared to 36.3. Break for 19.3 compared to 15.7. Defense 27.6 compared to 22.1. Yeah, generally speaking, it's better than everything. It's slightly slower. It had 10.8. Eight and now we have 10.7, but reliability is about 20% higher. Actually, more 20.5% higher. Okay, so in the meantime, we can actually check if we can get a better engine for this one. Uh, that would be one of the things that could help us before we design it. Because this, yeah, it's using the supercharge V12, so we can get the direct interjected supercharge V12. Which gives it more speed. Wait, you were using the supercharged, right? 
Yeah, supercharged V12. Twins with turbocharged. So a better engine is definitely an option, right? Yeah, twin turbocharged. Okay, so this one is the one that we want. Cool. Anything else that we can get? The armor. No, it's based on. We never really went with the armor. Okay, but this is mostly to upgrade. So we can get that later on. But first, we're gonna. You're gonna finish the advanced integrated missile control. And then we're gonna start the wave. What the hell is this one? Cruiser Hall and 1965. Ah, that's the battleship. Okay. So you can get battleships here and battle cruisers. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna design a new IFV for ourselves. That's actually pretty neat. Can we get more uh, with Rio Island? That's not what I wanted, right? Jesus. This is annoying. I want to build more yeah, let's build a couple of renewables on our beautiful homeland while we wait for army experience and we gain more money. How far is Brunei in the integration? 90 days left. Amazing. Still can't get the Philippines. We can lower the autonomy of Indonesia. to satellite okay that's crazy because we're gonna drown in factories now yep jesus uh, but i can actually start building stuff in that territory as well we get oh my god we got the nine extra factories uh, okay, one thing I can do with the limited amount of experience we have, we can run a modernization project on the bionics. Or not. It cost 9 army experience. It would make it much better though. Oh god, um, never believe it's gonna be hard to find stuff to build. Okay, let's build that for now. Let's get construction of a. Wait, no, that's wrong. Where are you? Here. Let's start a construction of the Super Pumas. Like so, we just get extra transport hel helicopters for the army, that's always good. And once we have enough experience to run the upgrade projects, we're gonna start with that. It's actually a bit tricky uh, that we don't have... Uh, 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 it's actually pretty tricky that we don't have uh, enough army experience to upgrade our units, but... We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, Paul is being auto influence and okay, transfer some shopping money. Uh, yeah, we lost economic boom. So it costs three hundred fifty, and we have this is a crucial period for us, and we definitely don't have enough money to spend. Or wait, no, I mean, money are not a problem. The political power is. I don't know what I'm talking about. Money. We don't have enough political power to do anything like that at this point. And we're gonna transport helicopters as a sort of a spare for the future operations. 
It might be worth our while to start training two more combined arm divisions and see what we need to get them fully stocked. But it's getting me rough with the stuff that we have. Can you stop upgrading the older ATGMs now? And when they are becoming a little tight. Okay, I think the modernization project can now happen. Okay, we could also modernize the Telexes. I want to keep them up to date, but I do want to final KX. Uh, I want to still keep them up to date. Even though we are only going to be modernizing them. Because, well, our units are going to have, you know, the issue is we have a limited stockpile and we have, well, we won't have that, but we have limited production. So the logic should be that even the things that are in your, you know, that are mothball, basically require a certain amount of care to be kept up and running because you cannot afford to discard them completely. So let's get you guys on the job of the semi-modern diesel engine and let's check who can take benefit of the... wait, let me be here... of the modernized electronics that we just got. Yeah, you can. So the fire control system can be upgraded to advanced integrated missile radar control. So that's extra point to light attack, extra point free anti ship guided missile, and even a bonus to anti air. Okay. Burmese election. Nationalist outlook. Well, I guess that would make sense to have Burma do that. Okay, and we need more rubber. And we need more steel. So we can get to those spares. Actually, we don't need to import rubber from Indonesia. We need only a little. So let's get it from... From India. Because we don't want to give our puppets any leverage over us. And this is going to boost significantly our construction. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So the bionics are being upgraded. Okay, we have 140 political power. Can we? Nobody is close to... So Malaysia is a puppet autonomous region. Let's keep pushing Malaysia down. Even if we cannot get them through and the, the map filling the decision, we might be able to just force them into submission this way. Okay, I'll spend a bit on influencing them just so that we have this under control. Relations with them are not great. Yeah, but with our neighbor, they're super mad at us. But I don't believe that they are actively fighting us. Yeah, no, they aren't. So we're just lowering their autonomy. 240, 245. Yeah, they're gonna be down there very soon. Okay, so you guys can join this army. And I'm thinking we train them. Okay, we don't have enough enough manpower for this. Uh, so let's train. Two divisions, okay, and I cannot, <laughs> I cannot even deploy them. God damn it! I have to do it this way. 
And these two will be a basis of the second army that's gonna be located in Atzeg. Oh god, and we are actually almost done with repaying our debt completely. That is wonderful. How close are we to annexing Brunei? 48 days. I can't wait. Still can't integrate Malaysia though. But I think that this one might actually work. If the lowest... Um, um, well, if this next one is called Autonomous Region and they are giving us nearly all of their production and everything, then if we could push them even further, they might be completely annexed. I never tried this before, really. So I'm a bit operating in the dark here, but it sounds about right. At least to me, I mean. Reduce autonomy facility. Okay, and we finished the upgrades to our submarines. So can we do anything with the fearless class? Is there anything? Well, we could upgrade their targeting. Hmm. Or we can just start producing more of them, because our fleet should grow. And this is still our best bet. Okay, so what was the name? Uh, 2007 Fearless Sky 2 War? Okay, so this is free war then. And how many do cards do we have? Just one. Uh, but I'll put three in here. And I'll put another one here. And we'll do it this way. Cool. Now we're producing... Oh, now we need more steel again. Which isn't bad. And we need to import some precious metals too. And we have two lines running, chugging out aged corvettes. Which tells me another thing. We need to get a new ship design. We've already spoken about that in the last episode. A 2010 Corvette hull would be good. A frigate hull would be even better. A destroyer hull would be amazing. And that's even a stealth destroyer hull. Which I believe I never used before. Okay, now income is going down the toilet. So, as a preparation for the annexation of um, Brunei in 34 days, I believe we might want to increase the tax rate by 2%. Uh, what? Oh yeah, okay. It helped 3.9 million, yeah. 3.59 billion then. And Malaysia. Did we manage to lower your autonomy? I think we are doing that right now, yeah. Two days. Hopefully the associated or the autonomous region is not the last thing we can see there. And there would be yet another option here to annex them. It would make sense because if you have an autonomous uh, region, and then the next logical step is to keep it um, as an internal region. But we'll see. We'll see. Again, I've never been there before, so this is all a bit of an experimentation. Okay, this is like the of time we get information about Palau being influenced. So, oh god, game, chill, chill. So here's Palau, how much of an influence do we have right now? Are we still not on the list? Oh 
Holy... You ever still not on the list? My god. I mean, we're crossing again the United States, so I can imagine that is harsh. But Jesus Christ. In nine days to integrate Brunei. What a lovely thing to see. Four days. Getting more arm experience. Are we? I'm still upgrading the Bionics. How many of them do we have? 410 that we need to upgrade. Okay. We can run there. That's fine. The H Sinsen X1 H2 is being upgraded. We're producing attack helicopters. And here we go. Brunei is now part of Singapore. Nice. So let's investigate the region. Uh, we just gained four seven factories and two offices. We have a unit here, Tentera Dara Dinja Brunei, which is just awful. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch you immediately to the Combined Arms Division and have you drill, uh, which is part of any army. So now you can drill. Uh, we'll get you. Actually, the commander of this unit is gonna be Colonel Ryan Lowe, and is gonna be promoted to commander of this one. Colonel Ryan Lowe, promote. And you're gonna lead this unit now, or this army. So let's go this single. Singapore Defense Force, or we're gonna call it Singapore DF, and this is gonna be Brunei DF. And let's look at the port and infrastructure here. Okay, infrastructure is at max. Wait, what about the port here? Okay, that one needs upgrading. Let's max it out. As I mentioned, we want to have connection to all of our regions. Now, this annexation slightly hurt our net income, but productivity went up, which is great. I'm happy to see that. We're actually kind of interesting nation now. We have Singapore, Atsak, and Brunei. So three detached parts of the territory. And we're gonna increase the tax rate to 19%. So I'm gonna let them run for a bit. And actually, we have gained quite a lot of templates. Jesus Christ. AI Armor Brigade. Yeah, I think we can actually get rid of all of these. At least for now. And we'll check it later. So let me just get 50 political power to get the next increase in taxation to 200%. And I'll be on my middle way. Actually, one last thing. Uh, this probably got us to... Yeah, they're not a virtual corporation or are they? I don't think they are. State owner... Population. Yeah, we have only 2.17 thousand people. Or is it core? 372. How many people live in Singapore? No, they're considered core population. Okay. 
So they're Singaporeans, basically. Amazing job. Amazing job. So what about that appointment? It's worse than it was. 15.10%. Great. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> We're running on strong with completely empty office blocks everywhere. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode of Singapore, in which we are going to end next Philippines. That's going to be an interesting one. And we're going to continue on our way to get Malaysia as an autonomous region and see if we can annex them that way.